I used to live in a small house in the suburbs. My house happened to be located right next to an abandoned house that no one used. This was actually a good thing because I was able to live here for a few years without any noisy neighbors. During my last year of college, I lived here alone with my dog. I knew once I finished college, I would move away from here and find a better house. One day after my college class ended, I drove home and walked to the back door. On my way to the back door, I looked towards the abandoned house. The back door to the abandoned house was left wide open. I was very confused because no one came to this house in years. There was even thorns growing on the side of the house and the windows were all cracked. The roof was falling apart and the backyard was full of leaves and sticks. I did not really know what to do, so I just went inside ignoring the open door. Inside I fed my dog, but today he seemed extra weird because he kept on going towards the window where you can see the abandoned house. I knew something was off with that house, so I wanted to explore it. I called my friend that same day and told him to come over so that we can explore the abandoned house. My friend agreed to come over, but only after work. That meant that we would have to explore the abandoned house at night. I decided to go to the dollar store with my dog to buy some flashlights so that we are ready for tonight. As my dog and I passed by the abandoned house, he started pulling the leash closer to the house. Now I really knew something was up with that house and I wanted to find out tonight. After buying the flashlights, I returned home and waited for my friend. When he finally arrived, I gave him a flashlight and we walked to the abandoned house. This house looked a lot more scary at night. We walked up the broken stairs to the open door and shined our light into the house. There was nothing there. We continued by walking inside the house. My mind was racing now, thinking about what could have opened that door. Either way, I continued and we slowly explored the bottom half of the house. When we got to the stairs, I gestured to my friend that we should go upstairs and explore the second floor. As I was walking up the stairs, my foot fell through a step, and I stumbled making a loud noise. My flashlight dropped down the stairs, making even more noise. After my friend helped me, we stood there quietly. That was when we heard walking coming towards the stairs from the second floor. We knew there must have been a person living in the abandoned house, so we ran outside and ran back to my house. I quickly ran around the house looking for my dog. I finally found him staring out my window, towards the window of the abandoned house. There, standing in the window of the abandoned house, was a man staring back at me. His red eyes terrified me. My friend came to my room and I told him to look towards the window. This time, the man disappeared walking further into the house. A few seconds later, we saw the man run out of the house and leave into the woods. To this day, I wonder how long the man has lived in that house and how long the man has been watching me through that window.